Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Battle video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the banners that have just come to DBZ Dokkan Battle, and we're going to see which of the banners you should be summoning on out of the two of them. So basically, should you summon on the Gods banner or should you summon on the Super Saiyan 4 banners? Now, you know pretty straightforward um, we'll take a look at each I think obviously you should really do it the discount round on both um, 110 stones or so for three multi summons that will end up giving you a fourth one it is really high value uh, and then you can obviously you know kind of start again from there uh, I think personally speaking obviously I quite like Gogeta a little bit more aesthetically than the gods units because I'm just a fan of Gogeta uh, as a unit but I think overall you know you should realistically uh, probably go for whichever one you like the most but we'll talk about each unit and obviously the banners uh, and which one I think is more high value uh, overall so we have obviously uh, the guard units here uh, they're pretty good uh, you yeah, know really really solid obviously we've been through them in detail uh, they have the Beyond Super Saiyan leader skill, which honestly is um, really good, like overall. Uh, I think it's better than the SS4's leader skill, if I'm honest. Obviously, their passive is the same as the SS4's in their base form. Uh, generally speaking, you know, they have uh, the same kind of build set. So they gain the key per type orbs, they have the guard in the first turn, they have everything like that. So overall, uh, in terms of like the base forms of the units, uh, obviously they're very very similar. I think the leader skill for the SSG units is a bit better than the SS4 units, uh, just because the SSG units have you know power beyond Super Saiyan, which I think is very strong. Movie Heroes also desperately needs a good lead, and I think Kamehameha has good synergy with both of those categories. Uh, in terms of the actual units themselves, uh, obviously. I think the SSG units link set, uh, both of them have very similar link sets, you know, uh, in terms of the individual links, I think the SSG units maybe have a slight edge up just because the units they compare with are pretty dangerous as well, you know, like the physical LR duo, uh, Super Saiyan blue units and stuff like that, I think, you know, overall they are pretty decent. When they transform, uh, they do gain a lot of benefits, uh, you know, they gain evasion, instead of a damage reduction so that's pretty good and they just look really solid uh, in terms of their animations i think they're really crisp it does show that the source material used for them was obviously very very good uh, because their animations are really 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 solid uh, animations are good you know all look crisp all look really really great um, clean clean animations looking super duper uh, fluid Obviously the Broly movie had great animations. I think most units that have come uh, out of that movie or based on that movie have pretty much had top tier animations for Dokkan. I think the fifth year Elar Gogeta still has maybe the best animations in the game for me or at least up there with them. Uh, just because the source material is so damn good. Overall, I think between the units I would kind of stick with my preview approach. Uh, I think that SS4 Gogeta is slightly better than the god units ever so slightly like i said i think gogeta is maybe one or two percent better in my mind just because of the way he's constructed uh in terms of the banner though broly definitely worse than sin shenron both of them are highly limited characters in terms of categories but broly is just not remotely nearly as usable as sin shenron uh, which i think is a negative on the mana Full power Frieza is great, um, definitely on path Namek Goku, if not slightly better. Uh, great unit, great links, great categories, great leader skill. AGL, LRUI, MUI Goku, uh, I think definitely in hindsight has looked better than the SSB uh, Vegeta. So I think that's 100% uh, really, really you know, up for this banner. I think that's an advantage for this one, I think. He's definitely better than the Vegeta. Uh, the Bootanks also, I think, has aged a bit better than the Vegeta uh, overall. I think Bootanks really, especially with dupes, uh, 
can look really really nice uh, stacks really really quickly he's got a lot of regen uh, team leader skills pretty decent as well the fifth year allows on this banner and I think that's a bit of a negative uh, I like the animations but they really just haven't aged well at all uh, physical Gogeta is on this banner which is relatively solid and then we have obviously the other world warriors Goku and the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta uh, overall I would probably say that Frieza, the God Units, Boo Tanks, and the MUI Goku are definitely really, really good and are better than their counterparts on the Super Saiyan 4 banner. Uh, like, I would say each of them is better than the reciprocal unit. So, like, Frieza is probably slightly better than Goku, um, Boo Tanks is slightly better than Vegeta, MUI Goku is better than Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but um, I think the SS4 mana is slightly better overall. So yeah, uh, in terms of the SS4s, obviously just to kind of run through them. Uh, they're a Fused Fighters or GT Heroes lead. Obviously they're a Kamehameha lead as well to give that full 200% leader skill. Fused Fighters as a category, I think overall is a little bit weaker uh, than you know, Power Beyond Super Saiyan. I think Fused Fighters is obviously still a good category, but I think it's just a little bit more limited. Like the God units, they obviously stack in their base form and their passive is the same in their base form. So there's nothing different with their passive. It's all pretty much the same, all exactly the same, literally. Uh, so it's a good, it's, it's very, very good. Obviously then you use their active skill uh, and you obviously transform them into the Gogeta. In terms of link skills, they got Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, GT, Saiyan Raw, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, all of which are a pretty good link set. Again, it's a really strong link set. Similar to the God units, they have Shocking Speed, um, GT, and Saiyan Raw, which, I mean, sorry, GT and Saiyan Raw being kind of their different links, which obviously cater them more to their Shadow Dragon Saga or Giant Ape teams. In terms of categories, I think these guys, I like their categories a little bit more just because they help out some teams that really need the help. Shadow Dragon Saga, Giant Ape Power, and Accelerated Battle really kind of needed this unit, whereas the God units, maybe their team didn't need them as much, essentially. But in terms of their transformation, I think when they transform into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I think they are a little bit better than the God units. They're a little bit less conditional, um, and so they're a little bit more cookie cutter. They're a little bit more kind of suit all situations. Uh, and I think the damage reduction helps a lot more than the evasion, especially since most hard events will disable evasion at certain points. I think the damage reduction overall is just a little bit better. I think it, generally speaking, uh, kind of gives a lot more credence and strength to the units than, you know, say for example, if you couldn't. So for me, I definitely think that they're a lot better uh, in terms of that, but I think it's very, very close between the two of them. Uh, in terms of animations, I actually really like the SS4's animations. I think obviously, you know, GT as a show gave some decent animations, but I think um, definitely not nearly to the quality of the movie. Uh, so I think they've actually done really really well to clean up and to present these animations and to make these animations um, Really really clean and look really really good because they're basically taking snapshots of the decent animation from the GT series and are converting it into moves for the actual units uh, and they're referencing a lot of other games that have made animations uh, but yeah overall Honestly speaking, uh, I think their animations are really, really good considering the source material. I think they really, I mean, they're super clean. Uh, the Big Bang Kamehameha from Gogeta is so, so very, very good. It is like absolutely one of the best animations I've seen in the game. Uh, I absolutely adore this animation. Just the whole physicality behind it and the movement. Um, like the fluidity of it. I think everything is just really really good with this animation So yeah, that's like that's pretty pretty much it when it comes to Gogeta um, Overall, I think they are the slightly slight 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 better unit, but I don't think it matters too much uh, Sin Shenron Way better than Broly a hundred percent way 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 better than Broly um, 
just a much much better unit way more usable obviously as limited as broly but i think just does a whole much more like so much more with what he has in namak goku i think is a little bit worse than freezer just a tiny bit uh, but he's still a very very good unit so i kind of cancel the two of them out but i think you know he is a little bit less efficient than freezer uh, this vegeta is definitely worse than his agl mui combo uh, he just his damage reduction the way it works the fact that it resets just leaves him in a very bad position uh, i think overall so uh, vegeta not looking too great strength vegeta very very good unit still I uh, don't want to knock Strength Vegeta, but he definitely isn't as good as Boo or hasn't aged as well as Boo Tanks. SS4s, is, I think, more valuable than the Year 5s. Uh, I think with the Ling Leveling update, they actually are better. Uh, I think they have more categories, more usability. I like their kits more. Uh, Vegeta, comparatively to Gogeta, is not too much of an issue. Although the GT heroes, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, are way better than the counterparts on the other banner. Uh, I think overall, if I'm honest, I would probably say that the SS4 banner, like their set LRs on the Gods banner are better, but I think overall the SS4's banner is better than the Gods banner. I think there's a lot more value in the Year 4 LRs. I think Goku's leader skill and his abilities is definitely on par uh, to kind of cancel out Freezer. And I think the GT heroes, DFEs, uh, are definitely a lot lot stronger not to mention that Sin Shenron is better and not to mention that I think the SS4s themselves are a tiny bit better uh, so I would say the SS4 banners is probably um, like better for you to summon on more value for you to summon on just considering the units on them that being said you must go for the unit you like the most I think that's the most important and you must remember that there's tickets and discounts on both so Try and obviously get your tickets uh, if you can and obviously please try and get at least one round of the discounts on both. You never know how lucky you might get and it's going to be quite high value for you. Obviously both banners are red coin banners so you can buy any of the units pretty much uh, if you have the red coins for them. Maybe I would suggest buying Frieza or Goku but honestly I would just hold on to these red coins uh, until a later date. Because I think you're going to see more value out of them when you can maybe pick up these two LRs themselves. Um, I think these guys are definitely a clear step above anything else on the banner. And so I think buying them is probably the much better bet. But that's it from me guys. I wish you good luck in your summons. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or leave a comment if you need any more help. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.